welcome back. So diarrhea sandwich for the win. Also, nah. also grab your boot and ears, corsages, and formal wear because prom is on the horizon. But before we do that, we all know what happens when we eat a diarrhea sandwich. We go to the bathroom. Go into the bathroom. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> help us all. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. And you had a diarrhea sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> we, can we please stop calling it that? It was a delicious sandwich. <laughs> you called it that for sure. Yeah, it was, no, your, that fault. Was, it was your fault. Uh, <laughs> you brought up the fact that it gave, it gave you that. But I didn't but call it a out. diarrhea also, sandwich. Also, once again, this is Dia. Who's Hi, this is Dia. Yeah. I'm the guest this session. Okay. Ish. Um, while in the bathroom, you tell yourself in the mirror that you're so bold you would kill a tiny, big-eyed turtle with your bare hands. That poor that turtle. cruel, not bold. That monstrous act would instantly give you plus 500 boldness. Come on, you're just talking to yourself in the mirror. What's the, what's the merit in that? You know what? You can keep two boldness anyway for saying that to yourself out loud. We have 19 boldness. Oh. Just saying. I feel good about us. It's later when you're... Minding your own business and definitely not doodling mm -hmm. pictures of Damien in your notebook. <laughs> when you see Damien making his way over to you, and at which point you definitely do not need to hide your drawings. Hide your yaoi porn! You're up. Alright, sorry. Yo, here's the thing. I know how I think most people are pretty much 100% awful f doors. <laughs> I guess so. I actually think you're only 70% awful f door tops. Oh, I'm honored. Nice. In fact, I actually think you're kind of rad. Nice. I didn't think that before, but you know what? Yeah. Oh, I've been meaning to get a, t a new tattoo since nothing is rad as intentionally sticking needles into yourself. We bought a tattoo! I, I do that every week. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> to create a permanent image on your skin for f***ing ever? And I thought that maybe we could get matching tattoos. Yes. If you can come up with something rad for us. Oh, well, that's that's uh, taking it fast. Ooh, okay. We gotta do this. OMG, OMG, OMG. It's your chance to once and for all convince Damien of how awesome you are. Okay, here it is. Don't f*** this up. It's time to suggest the baddest, raddest, maddest tattoo of all time, which is... <laughs> an on-fire pentagram made out of pentagrams, and those pentagrams are made out of guns that shoot pentagrams, and the pentagrams are on fire, and the fire is on fire. Or a sea cucumber. Okay, clearly the first one we have hold to up, go with, though up, I want to up, say sea hold cucumber. Hold on. This might be... Anytime someone has chosen guns, it's gone badly. Or, let's be real, when, when I have chosen guns... Would he bad. really want a sea cucumber, hold though? Up. I don't know. Hear me out. I don't How high is your boldness? Very. Is it 19? 19. Is it the highest thing you have? Oh, definitely. Yes. Yeah, this will be fine. Pick it. Six, Let's do the, the fire. Thing. Part of me is wondering, like, Dude, if Dude, don't has, question right, it. Fine. We'll go with no. your opinion. Damn it. Oh, my. Oh, oh sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my. That is the most metal thing I've ever heard. I made a good choice with you. See, I thought that it was going to be, like, an ironic... Maybe the pentagrams no. that are pentagrams could be made of pentagrams that are pentagrams. I thought he already had it. And the fire can be sentient, and the pentagrams can hate their deadbeat uncle. See, we got this. Okay. And the guns that end up on TV because they won't eat their vegetables, and maybe the pentagram, pentagram, pentagrams are also ex con Okay, he's getting a little crazy with this, but still. This is gonna take a while. These will be the raddest tattoos ever! I don't know if I want one Let's anymore. Let's go get them right now and have them both of a on our, have them on our, oh god. Have them on hold both on, of our on, bodies I got it. For, together for Let, Let's go get them right now and have them on both of our bodies together forever. There you go, I got Ooh, it. Sorry. What? You're about to get badass magic tattoos with Damien! <laughs> this is the Sweet. raddest, coolest, dopest, most lit thing to ever happen, have happened. And now, you'll be tied together for eternity. You hear that? You hear that? You gain the sickest tattoo of all time, as well as plus two boldness and plus one shot. What's our boldness? 21. 21. Our Jesus. boldness can drink, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. Beat okay. that, Dash. We you double out. your boldness. F*** you, y'all. F*** y'all. All right. To Damn the tree we go. Dancing tree. Dancing tree. That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. So what high school has recess? 
I don't Monster know. High School. Apparently. You spot, I think it's just break time. You spot one, the small magical Latino cat who seems a little bit sad. I don't like that they mm-hmm. just like zero in the fact that he's Latino. That's a little... <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah. Oh, here we go. He explains to you that he's worried people are so used to calling him Juan, the small magical Latino cat, that now everyone only de- defines him by his size, magicality, ethnicity, and species. He's more than that. Thank you. You correct him. You don't see him as su- in such a... Oh, my God. You correct him. You don't see him in such simplistic terms and convenient definitions. It's late, okay? Okay. It's just that there are around 23 other different Juans in the school, so adding it, so adding all that to his name is quite necessary. You tell him you'll never forget about him, and the crazy adventures you both lived together in Monster Prom Sequel, Monster Middle School. I feel like we had a lot of adventures with him, I just don't remember any of them. Exactly, because you have to wait for the prequel. You have a great time remembering this crazy no, story. Mean, just you get game. plus two fun. We, we've met hey. Juan the Magical Cat so many times, I don't remember any of it. You're casually practicing some magic spells with Damien and Scott come running up to you. All These right. guys are so bros. Dude! Oh, wait, I think... I'll speak to myself, I don't care. Bro! We just had a f***ing sick idea. But we need your help to make it work. Hey, Scott. It's a glitch. Be cool. Uh, yeah, I'm being cool. I can be cool. Cool as a cucumber. A sea cucumber? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, picture this. A family-style pasta restaurant in the fifth circle of hell. I like it. Mm-hmm. We call it Pasta Paradise. Sounds too nice. ironic. Scott and D. There, there's another glitch, sorry. Scott and Damien's Pasta Paradise. Scott's got the blueprints all drawn up. I've got the real estate rights. Only need someone who can turn griffins into pasta. Oh, Are there so a lot that, of griffins in this circle? But wait, Damien. Yeah? Where are we <laughs> gonna get enough griffins to stock a whole restaurant with pasta? Uh, oh, f- Okay, listen. I'm willing to cut you in on this business venture. But only if you can help us find enough griffins to stock our kitchen. Well. Can you imagine how much pasta can be made from a griffin? Uh, uh, I'm, they're gotta, never sure if it's, it's going to be a lot. Uh, they don't say that I'm it's... wondering if it's going like mass for mass, you know? It sounds strange. It seems like <laughs> griffins can be like this big depending on what meat you're talking about. And, oh. and, and I'm, I'm saying about oh, the size of a cat. it had to be cat. huge whenever it was like I mean, in the room with them. It was in a bathroom. I mean, yeah, was, but it was still a danger. A cat-sized griffin is not going to be a danger in a bathroom. If it's sharp. Okay, no, yes. but hold on, time out. Uh, who what? cares? <laughs> <laughs> Let's like, move I mean, on. It's like full of pasta. Uh, it's late. We, I guess we got. Yeah. We gotta... Okay. Nice move, Damien. That's why. That. That's why you're the brains. <laughs> Damn right. So how about it? Obviously, you start another business next door. It's got Damien's Griffin grooming. Oh, not bad. Believe it or not, you can actually make pasta without turning Griffins into it. What's the point of that? Where's the fun in that? Uh, smarts. Okay, Griffin grooming. Why not? Ah, damn it. You idiot. As I insult myself. You want to put a whole bunch of Griffins right next to a place that serves pasta? Bruh, that's an accident waiting to happen. Everybody knows Griffins hate being near pasta. (laughs) Oh? (laughs) That's like the first thing you learn about Griffins. Is it though? Is it really? (laughs) Are you telling me that you don't know anything about griffins except how to turn them into pasta? For shame. For shame. You're worthless. You're worse than Whoa. worthless. You're a wow. liability. Well, okay. I am a Scott. I myself right now. such a bad game. <laughs> Come on, Scott. Let's find another wizard to share our hot pot, bu- our hot business idea with. Technically, you're a genius. Yeah. Whoa. On the bright side, you don't have to be involved with this stupid business idea. Oh, on no. the other hand, Scott and Damien think you're a douchebag now. You lose two smarts and one creative. God, I've the worst f***ing game. Um, that was intense. I, it culminated with me insulting myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. I guess I'm gonna go to the gym. I need to pump some iron. You, you gotta pump charge. those muscles. Work that ass. 
That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Oh god, don't tell me I'm reading this again. Let's skip it. Excuse me. Many people fall during the battle. You can't take any more. So you valiantly go straight to the other team's leader and start negotiating for a truce. That's giving up. Then it is. After hours of intense diplomacy, you commit to an agreement. What an unexpected twist! Boring. You gain plus 10 righteousness, but this game is so <laughs> wrong in so many ways that you would be lucky if you could do anything with that. And plus two charm. The game was so close. The other team demands a rematch. This one goes way worse. Your team is down to just you and Damien. Oh, dun, dun, dun. But we had a truce! Yeah, <laughs> well, that was for the last game. The other team has all the balls except for the one you're holding. Oh, no. You're up. Oh, okay. We're boned. It's time to just cover our nuts and let them get this over with. I mean, I'm only in this game so I can accidentally hit people in the face. I'm not, like, skilled. And it's not like you have some sort of super secret ultimate dodgeball trip trick hidden up your ass, right? Actually, you do. You take a deep breath and bust out your ultimate technique. Uh, five point ball explosion oh, cool. technique. Gun. <laughs> Gun. Gun. I like the kill Gun. bill thing. Gun. 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 All right. Gun. Oh, oh yes. yes. Oh, sorry. The most you. powerful dodgeball technique of all. Gun. Also, the the best move in rock paper scissors. Gun. <laughs> you draw your weapon and fire wildly at the opposing <laughs> team. They all try to take cover behind their dodgeballs, but dodgeballs are made of rubber and are therefore terrible cover. Luckily for them, they're <laughs> all undead, but at least mythical beasts immune to conventional weaponry, so no one dies. Thank goodness. Your senseless violence does distract them long enough for Damien to eliminate their whole team, though. They say to never bring a knife to a gunfight, but they never said not to bring a gun to a ball fight. That's technically true. You have to stay late to clean up the carnage, but you still gain plus two fun and plus one boldness. Yay. Hey. <sighs> All right. Let's end this thing. Um, let's wrap this mother up. Let's go to class. <laughs> oh, you know, the use of school. All right. That day, your teacher delivers an amazing and creative performance that blows all your minds. It ends up being a sensation on YouTube. Unlike this wow. video. <laughs> um, your teacher gains plus 10 coolness, but who cares? He's not trying to romance your classmates. Or is oh, he? Gosh. We hope not. Yeah. Oh, you also gain plus 2 smarts. Hooray. All right. Normally, Damien is totally tuned out in Monster Civics class, but today he actually seems excited. You ask him why. I'm curious about that happy blob in the back. Do you see that? Yeah. It's kind of cute. Oh, he's actually he's actually Blobber. a secret character. Oh, really? I want to meet him. <laughs> nice. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> oh, because we finally got an assignment, I can. Because we finally got an assignment, I can get behind. Write a proposal to improve your neighborhood. What? Set it on fire? My neighborhood is hell. I'm just gonna come up with a kick-ass new torture. I need to pick an idea. Drinkable termites? No, the termite lobby would be all over us. Constantly firing shotgun? No, the NRA still refuses to associate with our brand. Repeated flame with a dull, rusted butter knife? No, it's not quite brutal enough. Literally, damn. I've got plenty of ideas, but no great ones. Help me out, yeah? Okay. <laughs> Knife soup. A kitten you can never or, Yeah, a kitten you can never That have. is evil in its purest um, form. Dude. Well. Knife soup's a little generic. Mm. Besides, all the knives would seem to be bottom. Yeah. Easy I mean, this this would be torture for me. That would be torture. <laughs> That's the point. Not so fun. Oh, oh no. Aww. No. No. It's too cruel! Well, we were right. <laughs> this is hell we're talking about, not some kind of double hell! Skinning alive? Fine. Driving a monster truck through some dude's chest? Totally cool! Flesh-eating kittens that devour you wh while you snuggle them? Sure, we've got a whole lot of those. Houdini's one. Yeah! <laughs> but a kitten you can't snuggle? What kind of twisted person are you? <laughs> Damien withdraws from you shuddering in terror. 
You can never. Oh you no. never thought you'd see the day where Damien called you twisted. You lose two boldness and one charm. Well, I wasn't <laughs> winning anyway, so you know what. <laughs> The monster yes. prom draws near. All right. Oh, you got Well, first. let's see. We're all oh, going Vera. for him. We're going for Damien. Everyone's picking Damien. Damien. I, can we all pick the same person? Oh, oh wait. What if he says yes? Oh. He's probably going to reject most of us. Yes. I mean. Picky, picky. All right. I don't know what's it. Oh, it oh, goes one after. Okay. okay, yeah, we can all pick him then. Yeah. Like Who will you ask to the prom? Damn oh, it. okay, so we all can pick the same person. Yeah, let's try right. it. I was, I was worried. But we I don't all like be able getting rejected. <laughs> no one does, but we'll see what happens. Give you hugs when it, when it's over. No. Okay. Oh. Are you saying you won't give me hugs? I said I will, we will give you hugs. We will. <laughs> yeah, but then you said no. Nah. <laughs> you going for Damien? Yeah. Damien. We're all going Damien. I think I might have enough points, but I'm not sure. So can he go with more than one of us, or just one? I don't know. I'm curious. He can go with Has no one ever playing. tried a competition version of this? No. Uh, let's see. Damien. First on YouTube. Probably not. Uh, okay. Um. All right. Well, I, I'm gonna get rejected, but. Hi, Katie. Dash, you're up first. All right. Oh boy. Finally, pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Prom? You stupid. I need spice in my life. And if you were spice, you would be. Uh. Huh. Some f***ing bland spice! You say to the person with fire in their head. Oh. Who needs prom? You focused on your career. A uh, goal of becoming a renowned surgeon. You studied hard and passed all the tests. Unfortunately, <laughs> no hospital wanted to hire you because it turns out that going to prom with cool date is an essential requirement on surgeon's <laughs> resume. <laughs> what? Wow. And so you never got a job, and in the end you became homeless. Don't even dare to think about the monster prom isn't important. God, Dude. I have the worst game! Oh, wow. I insulted myself and I... Hey, you, oh you're no, me from last time. I'm gonna Finally get rejected. Your courage, ask your oh beloved no. to go to the monster prom with you. No. Prom? With you? How can I put this delicately? You don't. Hmm. <laughs> no. Of course. Damn. It all seemed pretty bleak, but you're a natural fighter, so you fought for the right to marry your own <laughs> hand, since that seemed like a yes! your last chance at finding love. You know what? You could detach it. Yeah. It's true. Yay! You sound so happy about this. I'm gonna get rejected the worst. You finally plug up the courage to ask you blah, okay. Prom? With you? What a new! <laughs> I have more oh, fun God. setting ants on fire, which is what I'll actually be doing on prom night. Setting ants on fire is rad. Now, get out of my sight! Ow. You couldn't get a date for Monster Prom. Actually, you couldn't get a date for the rest of your life. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna cry. Ouch. Some nights, alone in your bed, you wish sadness was an SPD, <laughs> because at least then you wouldn't be getting so much of it. Oh. Damn. That's sad. Ouch. I got it rough. I think it'd be hilarious if we also didn't get All it. Alright, y'all. You finally put up courage and ask your to go to the Monster Prom with you. And Prom? I guess we can get so wasted we end up burning stuff down, right? That sounds like a rad date to me. Yes. Let's burn stuff down together until dawn. Oh! We Prom got was it. great. Nice suit. You crashed your limo into the wall of school, and it was the best entrance ever. Everybody had a great time dancing under the lovely light of a car fire. <laughs> uh, best in impersonating a plate of spaghetti is actually is actually fire an acceptable option for a quote. <laughs> well, that's our second run. All right. Woo. We did 200 of 394 events. That's pretty good. Damn. Uh -huh. God, nice. That's a lot of outcomes. We only have two. Yeah. Well, everyone got rejected, and then one. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. No one got a chicken though, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ah, good times. Good times have I all. Those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of your of our lives. 
After Monster Prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendships, and learning who we were. I feel like we already read a lot of this stuff. Yeah, I feel like yeah. this is the same like, ending. You know what? Blow those of life happens. Except for this But part. there's my blog. Okay, hold up. Here's, here's something new. Miranda and Damien received an award mm. from Smalltopia for their work as city planners. Smalltopia's citizens still insist the award was fake, and they pray for the two of them to stop messing with their city. Coach saw his bright students grow and become successful and marvelous people. Except for one who lost, I guess. Someone <laughs> spotted him recently, watching the sunset with, men, with a manly tear on his cheek, probably reflecting on the miracle of youth. And how it's great! <laughs> yeah. Vera kept being fierce, strong, and stunning. Hell yeah. Some haters said life would put her that mean bitch in her place. Uh, but you know what? She ended up making life a little bitch. During those three weeks, Monster Prom seemed bigger than life, and then it was gone just like that. Battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were lots of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. So how did everyone feel about our second time around? I feel like shit. Well, that's yeah. how I felt around the first one, so... I feel good. We Much feel better. good. Hey, Much Mumra. better than the first. Oh, that was so bad. I, ins I had to insult myself repeatedly. Mm-hmm. Good times. I enjoyed it. Uh, See, that is just a stock picture. It was... Yeah, they're all stock yeah. pictures. Yeah, they are. There's a few... So we don't uh, know if you would have gotten ones, Vera. Depending on your romance. I did want to know if I could have gotten her. <laughs> um, but... Chibs, any thoughts? We kind of f***ed you. Yeah. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> I'm staring at the screen because I'm very tired. <laughs> okay. Well, well, we'll be done in, in just a moment. It's uh, fine. That was fun. Oh, boy. How about for justice? How are you feeling about the whole thing? I don't like losing. I can tell. <laughs> really? I'm a sore loser. I'm shocked. I'm sorry. Orgy planner? Is that what that's at? <laughs> I sometimes need one. I mean, honestly, I was thinking of like, <laughs> I'm probably gonna lose anyway, but this That's is gonna be alright. Right oh, so. yeah. Uh, beard grows. Mm hmm. Yeah. That was fun. Good times. Good times had by all. Oh, yeah, this might conclude our, our uh, Monster Prom series for now. Maybe we'll come back if something happens. Or when the DLC comes out. Yeah, DLC's fun. Apparently, there's gonna be some new characters you can romance. Nice. New booty. Following, oh, following me to the, the end. <laughs> you have unlocked six new images. All right. Uh, I think we're gonna call it uh, a game and a night and uh, and uh, yes. a good. Bye. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye, Bye everybody. Good night. Bye, See guys. you next time. See ya.